What were you wearing? Do you know what my mother always told me? She said never buy anything that you wouldn't wear to pick up your lover in at the airport. Smart mother. Yeah. And she gave me $473 to leave home when I was 15. And I never saw her again. Does he still live with her? No. He came back. I made him come back. Because of something I did. And... Uh, and he'll probably never forgive me. Why? I made sure that she never contacted him again. But you were protecting him. He's my only child. So I tried it with my fingers. And? And uh, not much. Not much. So you gave up? Or? Not exactly, no. I, um... I took the advice of one of your pamphlets and I ordered a vibrator online. Good. That was a bit better. A lot better. I started to feel something. I felt it get very, um... Yes? Um, very, like... Like something was gonna have to happen. Like I couldn't take it. It got really uncomfortable. And, and then it happened. I, I came. Good. And then that night I had a performance and during intermission I went down into the bathroom and I did it again. And then the next day I did it a few more times and now I'm worried that I'm addicted. fell in love. With? She was 26 and I was only 16. I moved into her place. I brought nothing of mine. She was amazing. It was like there was, it was like there was nothing about me that she said no to. And for the first time in my life, I felt completely real. I felt like myself, you know? And then, and then 
my mother. She told her if she didn't stop seeing me, she'd call the police. So I came back to our apartment one day, and she was gone. And there was nothing left. It was just some remnants of us. And I lost it. I mean, completely. I, I hated her. Your girlfriend? My mother. She has a way of controlling and betraying people. Show me around. Back when I was alive, part of what I did was to become invisible. To crawl inside your deepest dreams, fears, hopes, and obsessions. To recite to you your own story, even if you didn't know it yourself. And in this way, I could breathe life into you and make you alive. But more often than not, what was created in the space between my lips and yours was thrown away, forgotten like a lost child. But what if by dying, I was to stay around and never leave? What if, by dying, I could continue to narrate your life? Is that too much to imagine? That I could, in my own way, hold your hand and lead you. Be there with you. Bringing you together. Nestled into everything that ever happened to you. Catherine! Congratulations. Without even touching you. What a lovely party! Oh, I'm so glad you come. Without even uttering another word. she could have saved herself. But instead, she saved me. She said her name was Chloe. She 
told me stories. Stories about my husband. And I found myself falling in love with him again. Now, when I feel the sun on me, smell the weather turning, when I speak or look at my family, feel them close, I can sense her here, still talking to me, narrating to me, haunting me making my life a dream as she continues to crawl inside and recite to me my own story. Catherine, congratulations. What a lovely party.